I'm 44 years old, I'm married and I have one child, and I'm a registered nurse. Is she works in the emergency room at Somerville Hospital. So you better hope you don't come in there, because if you do, I'm going to put you to sleep permanently. You got that? Oh my god, you're a killer. I'm going to give this recording to the cops. Let them know that you're doing that to people. You're listening to the Snowplow Show, everyone. This is episode 572. It's Sunday, July 21st, 2019. And this one's brought to you by Mike Hunt, The Stunning Kruger Effect, Rhino Knife, Jesse Lobster, and Cody No Name. This one is a live show that happened earlier today, and you're about to hear it. Shortest intro ever! Hey, everybody. Uh, We're going to do some yard sale calls today. I'm only broadcasting on the Mixler. I'm... Too lazy to turn on the thing, the shoutcast, the YouTube, and the Facebook, and all that stuff. Sorry. It's going to be a short show, I think. I know I always say that, but I think today I actually mean it. Like maybe an hour tops. It's 11.30, so that means I have to stop at 12.30. I think I found some good yard sales. I got like 10 of them pulled up here. Um, This first one, I stole her caller ID. So she's going to get a call from herself. Maybe that's a dumb idea, but that's what I did. I just wanted a local caller ID, so I took hers. Um, I don't even know if this is a yard sale, because it's like, it just says beautiful women's clothing. <laughs> All sizes of women's clothing from six to eight to real women's sizes. Oh, oh, I thought it meant, I thought that was a time from six to eight to real women sizes 8 to 20. What? Is she body shaming thin girls? I don't know what women's sizes are. They don't make sense to me. Most items are gently used. Some still have tags. What the fuck? Did she steal it? Like, how does she have all sizes of women's clothing? What should I say to the women's clothing lady that's probably not going to pick up because I'm calling from her own number? She's going to think that it's a... telemarketer or scammer I'm calling her I'm doing it here it goes hello hello yes can I help you hey I'm calling about your yard sale so um like is it all day today and is it outdoors it is outdoors but we just kind of shut it down because it's so hot. We just kind of figured nobody would come by. Oh, uh, don't be a pussy. Come on. I, I was going to come by. <laughs> well, what type of stuff are you looking for? Just so I can like, kind of see if there's stuff for you. Well, I was looking for women's clothing, but I don't understand sizes of women's clothing because I've just recently got into dressing up in women's clothing. So uh-huh. uh, I, I wear like a, an XL size shirt. Okay. Does that mean I'm? Yeah, a, we have some like larger sizes. Am yeah, I? Oh, for sure. I'm a larger size. I I get it. Um, is that like an eleven? No. Yeah, yeah. We have like honestly, we have like sizes between like eight and like five twenty. Five twenty, man. I don't even. No, know. no, 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 no. No, eight size eight through size twenty. Oh, size twenty. Okay. Yeah. What What's an XL? Yeah, you're more than welcome t-shirt to come by. Size. You put everything. Yeah, we put everything in the garage, but, I mean, we can take it out. Like, it's pretty easy the way we have it set up. Are they real sizes, or are they, like, actual size? No, they're real sizes. Yeah, but are they actual size, or are they, like, a mock-up? Like a, no, no, no. A, you know, one, 1 to 12 scale model? Yeah. Like, 1 to 12, I mean, there's, like, oh, some of the stuff is, like, name brand. Um, some of them are, like, higher end. I mean, there's... Honestly, like a true variety of clothing. So yeah, if you want to come by and just check it out to see if there's anything to your liking, you're more than welcome to. So I'm 46 years old. Does that mean that a 20 won't fit me? Does it have to do with your age? No, 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 no. It's just a size. Oh, I see. Um, I drove by earlier and I walked around the backyard. Uh-huh. And I was just trying to see if the, the yard sale was in back. I, like, circled around your house a couple times. 
and uh-huh. I didn't see the yard sale. Is it like in the garage or something? No, we had it. We had it outside in the patio by the pool, but because it was so hot, we just kind of figured that we would shut it down early. Is there any way you can go into the backyard and? Because I think I set my weed pipe down on a table. Do you have a table back there? Um. Yes and no. Like there's like a patio table. Yeah, it seemed like a patio table, but it's hard to remember because I was really high. I, I set my weed pipe down. And there's still some left in there if you want to have a smoke. I wondered what <laughs> I wondered what happened to it on my drive home. Oh, uh, okay. I can I can look, but you know what? Right now I'm in the middle of cooking. What are you cooking? Can I call you back what after you, I check? What are you cooking? Food. <laughs> what kind? <laughs> What was that? If I get there before you're done cooking, can I just go on back and use the swimming pool? pool? No, that'd be kind of weird, to be honest with you. I'm no, it's fine. I have swimming shorts. I, I have a, <laughs> I have a bathing suit. It's a single piece. You know, it's the, it, it's not a bikini or anything. It's a single piece. It's cool. I know, but that's not the point. I just, I don't know you, so like, I'm not really comfortable with like letting people just come into my swimming pool is anybody else <laughs> using the swimming pool right now <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah no no nobody <laughs> um is it an issue yeah, like i i was raised in britain so i think my size <laughs> my sizes are metric <laughs> Does that work with the uh, the six to eight and eight to twenty? <laughs> all right, we lost him. Th- thanks for all the weird ideas, everyone. Thanks, I regret jumping for the British thing that made him hang up. They are racist. They don't like British people. Just think, she's gonna get all of my callbacks from other people because I I called from her number. She's probably looking at her caller ID right now and wondering what the fuck. All right, we've got an estate sale. They got machines. It's like a garage full of old people tools. Oh, they got models. They got clocks. Wow, these people were into collecting shit. Yeah, like a hundred clocks in here. Like Doc Brown. Oh, look, more clocks. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to call this estate sale. I bet you they didn't close down because of the heat. Mr. Biggs wants to know the torque rating on that on the drill press. It's not that kind of tools. It's it's like it's weird tools. Oh my god, there's more clocks. They're they're like they they they're it's like if you were a blacksmith in the eighteen hundreds. It looks more like those kind of tools. Like I see anvil anvils. Um those other things that I, I don't know the names of. Whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna call it. I'm calling him. Calling Michael. Be like, hey, Michael, how'd he die? What happened? Can I make a joke about all the clocks? Like, uh, I guess his time ran out. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Good morning. Hey, I'm, I'm calling about your estate sale. Yes, sir. And how late is that going to be open? Well, it, it, we don't like to be out here when it's 100 degrees, but we'll be here until about 4, 4.30. Okay, that's perfect. Um, I'm bringing a school bus of um, their preschoolers. <laughs> okay. The guy hates kids. Mixler keeps notifying that my daily limit has reset. Hey, you you hung up on me? Twice? One more try. It's a bad connection, I guess. So I guess it's apparently hot in uh, the place that I'm calling. Hey, hello? Can you hear me? I'm bringing those kids over. Bringing those school buses. Whatever. Moving! Going traveling! Oh, no, he's going traveling, not traveling. He's going traveling. He is sailing all. (laughs) Sailing has an E in it. 
Uh, new full bed, dresser, nightstand to match, chair. Chairs fifteen thousand dollars each. Um, a, a bistro kit table set. I wonder where he's traveling to. Like he's he's got to make that point that he's traveling in the the subject line, but then he doesn't elaborate in the in the thing. You know, in the ad. A TV screen adapter for use on your laptop for big screen TV. What? You mean an HDMI cable? <laughs> what? Call Keith. But first. Hey, you're an asshole. You're an asshole. 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 Hey, asshole. We're bringing a school bus of kids. Nothing you can do about it. We're on our way. All right. I had to just say one more thing to that guy. I want my son back. What? What? Buxby wants me to say I want my son back. I think this is an indoor sale, too. Hello? Hello? Hey, I'm calling about your moving sale. Oh, yeah. Where are you traveling to? Oh, I... <laughs> uh, I'm just going to do some coastal stuff. I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going out of state or anything like that. Oh, wow. Uh, I just... You have to get yeah, I want to buy permission a, from your oh, probation oh, I, office. What? I, I want to buy a uh, just a, a, an older, you know, to, the RV motorhome and and just travel up the up down the coast a little bit. I see. Okay. Um, this is Buxby. I was up there. Um, I you know I was I'm the guy that I came earlier. You know. You remember? Oh, oh, you showed up. Yeah. Um. I don't know if you knew I, I had, remember that. I don't know if you know I had my son with me because he was hiding. Oh, I don't know. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think I left him there. Has, has he turned up? He, he's just three. I need my son oh. back. Oh. <laughs> he likes to get in kitchen cabinets. Can you check in your kitchen cabinets? <laughs> no. I think my dog would probably uh, search them out. Why? Well, speak up. Speak into the phone. I can't hear you. <laughs> Hello? You got me? You got me? Yeah, yeah, you're just fading away. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I, I had it on, uh, took it off speakerphone, but I thought, usually because uh, sometimes in here it blah, gets a blah, little blah, bit. Blah, 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 blah. Did you check the kitchen cabinets? Uh, yeah, no, it's, there's, there's no, but my dog, my dog was, uh, uh, he, he'd be barking at it. <laughs> oh, no, my son's quiet. He's very quiet. He doesn't talk much. <laughs> yeah, I wish my kids were that way that when I were growing up. Yeah. Can you look up in the attic yeah. or in the basement or? You look yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm too old to get up there, so. Well, well yeah. I just, I need my son back. You can't keep my son. That's illegal. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I can't help you there. <laughs> what, you're just going to keep my son? That's an asshole move. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, he's, he's not here. Well, you haven't even looked no, yet. You, like, you, look, you, you up that day. Was you the one that wanted to buy the, uh, the TV? Yeah, yeah, and that like I didn't buy it, but that's no re that does not give you the right to keep my son. Oh, <laughs> well, he's not here. I'm sorry. <laughs> L look in the bathroom. Is he yeah. like hiding in the bathtub? He hides in bathtubs. Yeah, well, I I think I would have noticed uh, to somebody around here. It's a little little small in this apartment, so I know. But, but he uh, he's he's a good hider. What, like he he would sneak around. Yeah, what can, yeah, what can I help you with? I I want my son back. Just please, come on. I, I need, like, my, my wife's going to be pissed. Oh. I had a perfect opportunity to do the Mel Gibson line, give me back my son. But no, I, I ruined it. Didn't do it. <laughs> anyone remembers that. Uh, quality items, garage sale. Exceptional clothing. Primarily adult men's attire. I wonder if the sizes are 6 to 8 or are they real women's sizes, 8 to 20. Contemporary furniture and light home goods items, cool vintage audio equipment, drum set, water balloon fight. What, Mr. Biggs? Water balloon fight. Okay, we're going to have a water balloon fight with my school bus of kids that are on the way. It's the third annual preschool water balloon fight. 
or I don't know. Should I? Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's do third graders. <laughs> Because they can, you know, they can hit harder. They can really wing those balloons at each other. Summer camp, Mr. Biggs. Summer camp. Hello? Oh, hello. I'm calling about your yard sale thing. Yeah. Uh, is It, it is still going on, right? Uh, yeah, well, I was going to close up. What are you looking for? Is, is it outdoors? Uh, well, yeah, it's just in my garage. I just opened the garage. Okay. Well, it's just, I'm, I'm on my way right now. We've got a school bus. Um, we have 27 third graders. It's like a summer camp thing. We're coming to your yard sale. Oh, well, it's not that big, but... Yeah, but they'll fit uh, in the garage, right? 27 kids? Yeah, no, they won't fit in the garage. <laughs> well, um, we're going to have a water balloon fight. We've got like ten coolers full of water balloons. Good luck with that. And we're it's it's going to be held in your garage. Oh, good luck with that. What do you mean, good luck with that? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. I'm just saying you're going to fit twenty plus kids in my garage throwing water projectiles. I don't think it's going to work. Oh, uh, I think we'll but see, hey. won't we? We set people to the moon, so anything's possible. Yeah. Good one. Anyway, we're going to be there in about, um, I don't know, uh, probably just about 10 more minutes. We're driving the bus over right now, and we'll be over. So make sure you don't close down. All right. And you might want to put plastic over the, uh, like the PC and Mac stuff. The audio, um, audio equipment. Yeah, no. Well, we'll it's see. up to you. I mean, it's going to get water balloons thrown at it, though. Well, I just, I just want to open the garage. We're gonna. Oh, we've got a lock pick. Um, you can have water balloons as well, but you, you can't hit the kids in the face. That's like a rule. We don't hit in the face. Oh, uh, all right. So you're welcome to, you know, hit kids, just not in the face. Well, that's the first time I heard that before. Alright. Okay. What? Do you usually hit kids in the face? No, no. I've never hit a kid, but I've never heard somebody say you can hit kids, just not in the face. That's kind of weird. Oh, yeah. no. That's pretty much the a basic rule of parenting. You can always hit your kids, just not in the face, because that's where it leaves marks. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's this Fresno, so this is probably typical for Fresno people. Yeah, yeah. Good one. Yeah. You're just full of them today, aren't you? I'm full of something. Yep. Well, anyway, five minutes. We'll see you in five minutes. 27 kids. All right. All right. Three adults. Ten cases of water balloons. Great. Make sure you have lots of zingers prepared. There he goes. Snappy Bake says he is a confirmed jokester. Garage sale every day at RSD Auto Connection. What? So this is a fake garage sale? Tools, wrenches, car jacks, Phillips, screwdrivers, sockets. A gigantic list of shit here. Here, real quick, I'm going to uh, Google Maps their address and confirm this is just some business listing under the garage sale section. Just gotta yell at them for that. This is a car dealership. I mean, it's like an independent one. It must have an auto shop place inside. What jerks? They're just trying to get you in there to sell you a car. Hello? Hello, uh, this is Greg from the city of Clovis. Yes. Um, I'm in the mayor's office. The Mayor McClure wanted me to call you up and let you know that he does not like you. <laughs> like what? Mayor McClure, you know the mayor of Clovis? The Clovis, yeah, we are in Clovis, yes. Yeah, the mayor, the mayor of Clovis, he does not like you. The mayor? Yeah, the mayor of Clovis called you a bitch, a bitch ass motherfucker, and said fuck you and fuck your mom. Oh really? Yeah, I'm, I'm his assistant. I'm just yeah. calling to. You have, uh, you have, a you have a mom or no mom? You have a mom or are you born in the um. 
like uh, my mom's from dead. An animal or where are you born? Well, Where no, are you born? No, From you're animal? you're directing your anger at the wrong person. I I'm just passing no, along no, the message. No, you don't. I think uh, you born uh, through the animal monkey or the. Uh, Look, it's the you born like a donkey. It's donkey. The, it's the mayor that's saying this thing. The mayor says to no, fuck you but, and your but, mother. What hey, the mayor? Fuck you and the mayor. But I say I'm saying you have a mom like a donkey or the mayor female like a dog or what? The mayor. What's your mom's name? Dog the, or donkey? The mayor. Says says that you are a bitch ass motherfucker and he hung right up or let me call him right back i felt like we were getting somewhere on that one i wanted him to ask me why so i could tell him he's he's a liar oh look they're renting office space too right next to the car lot please leave your message for five 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 it's a hollywood area code I just want all of you to know that um, I was not born out of the butt of a monkey or a dog. I know I didn't deny that with that guy, but like I don't, I just don't want you guys to think that. I I do have a mother. I mean, I used to, but totally normal, totally normal birth, no animals involved, as far as I know. All right, estate tag sale. What the fuck's a tag sale? Beautiful quality furnishings and contents. It's a sale, so they're going to put tags on things. What the fuck's a tag sale? See more photos. Uh, it's got like a URL, like estatesales.com, something, something. This is a professional thing. Frank. We're calling Frank. Frank will say yes to water balloons and kids. Hello. Hey, um, I'm calling about your estate sale. Mm-hmm. How much later is that going on? Oh, it's about 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock? Okay, that's perfect. Um, We're on our way over right now. We're supposed to be there in about, I guess the bus driver's say in 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're good. Okay. We're bringing a bus full of um, third graders, third and fourth graders. There's going to be 27 of us. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. 27 yeah, kids. Just, um... <laughs> Is this inside the house? Huh? Is this inside the house? Yeah. Yeah, who, who is this? Uh, my name is Roy. I'm a camp counselor. And um, so is this inside the house or is there outdoor space available? No, this, this, wouldn't, this wouldn't be anything, anything for kids. Oh, no, it's, it's fine. We do this all the time. It's summer camp. We don't have anything to do on Sundays, so we're doing a thing. Yeah, well, no, yeah, but we, would, we, we can't handle... Here oh no, we've got we've got uh, th three adults in addition to the twenty seven third and fourth graders, so that we'll we'll keep mm -hmm. them. But we're doing a paintball. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't. I can't. This, this, you understand? We're we're an estate sale. We're doing a we're liquidating a, a home here. Right, I understand that. But I think um, maybe you got the wrong 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 number or something. Is there outdoor space available too, or are we all going to be on the inside of the house? Mm -hmm. No, I can't handle 27 kids. Okay, look, I'm not asking you to handle the kids, perv. No, no, no I know, sir, no, but I, we, we can't have a, a bus of kids here. It just, that is not... No, we'll, we'll park the bus, like, down, down the block and walk over. I understand yeah, I know, I know. I can't, tight. No, no, I, I just can't, I can't have 27 kids. There's a lot of other sales to go to, but... I can't have 27 kids, well, you know. We'll probably buy, some of them have money. Some of them have a little bit of money. Yeah. Well, I, like, I, yeah, but I, I can't, I just can't do that. You can't, you can't turn. Too much liability, too much liability involved. There's in no liability. We're going to, we're doing a water balloon fight. Yeah, well, I, I, and I definitely don't want anything like that going on here. Well, that's why I'm um, asking if there's an outdoor but, park, because yeah, I don't want to have them call, throwing, call. I don't yeah, want to have them throwing like water balloons call, on the inside. Call. What? Yeah, we'll call another estate sale because we can, we just can't have anything like that no, I'm, here. I'm not asking permission. We're on our way. We've got the address. We're on our way. No, you're 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 not going to be allowed to unload 27 kids in this property. You can't. I'm just telling you right now. We're not. You can't discriminate yeah, hey, because the kids are, you, you yes, know, over age. I just, this is this is for this is a, an event for people who are coming to buy. To this is for people who are going to. Kids are people. Adults. Kids are this people. Is adults. This is for. I'm sorry. It's for adults. No, it's not. It says nothing like that on the ad on Craigslist. 
Yes. Well, you can you you can come here and check our signs up here. Do you still have yeah. the Nordatract uh, available? Uh, Nordatract. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. Okay, because kids love playing on those. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. We're not going to have. We're going to do races. Thank you. Goodbye. No, sir. Wait. We're we're on our way. <laughs> Henrik says uh, he's going to have to feed some of them. Hello. Hey, um, is, do you have air conditioning that's inside the house? Because we don't on this bus. It's like hot as hell. <laughs> this is a nice estate sale. It doesn't look like the guy was a blacksmith from the 1800s. He actually has modern technology such as FM radios. and <laughs> a lawnmower. Got a refrigerator. All right, another estate sale. Another modern day estate sale is the next one. Oh, this picture has some lady's forehead in it. Good job on that photo. I wonder if any of these people are calling back that lady from the very beginning. I wanted to use her pool. So this estate sale has garage items, kitchen items, couches, linens, appliances, beds. An entire house full of items, it says. Literally everything in the entire house is being sold. Oh, I wonder how literal that is. Can I have the baseboards? Can I have the light switch plate covers? Can I take the copper plumbing? Can I have paint shavings from the wall? Can I pull up the hardwood floors? I want the hardwood floors. Some of the kids are bedwetters. <laughs> I regret jumping wants to know if they have boxes of every TV guide. She didn't use literally in... This is Lauren. Oh, hey, Lauren. Um, I have a question about your estate sale. Yes. How late's, Sorry, that, hey. how late's that going on? Um, we're going to do it till about six. Okay, my brother and I are coming over. We've got um, hacksaws. We're going to take all of the copper plumbing. We're going to saw it out. Like, um, Do you have access to the water shutoff valve? You're going to what? We're gonna, on. The copper plumbing, we're going to saw it out. Hello? What happened to Lauren? This is Lauren Tosin. Who am I speaking to? Oh, uh, this is Gary. Um, I'm, me and my brother are coming over. Uh, we're going to... I was asking her if you had access to shut off the water in the house while we're there. Like, Why? Is, is there a shutoff valve? Why? Because we're going to saw the copper pipes out. No, you're not. Yeah, we are. Of uh, the house on... Yeah, nine fifty. We're we're on our way right now. Why do you think you can have the copper out of the house? Uh, because the Craigslist ad says we can. Why, why are you giving me an attitude? <laughs> Goodbye. No, sir. Like what? What's what the fuck? <laughs> he figured it out. Hey, we've just reported this to the police, and we've got neighbors across the street that are cops. Your ad says here. we can have literally everything in the entire house. Well, take me to court for that before you come in with a hacksaw. But we've got a cop that lives across the street. We've got a security system, and we've just reported you to the police. Why would you say so that you want to tell the cop I can have literally you think every... that my ad thinks we can have literally everything. I'm taking the floorboards. If you want the copper plumbing, then buy the house. I, I want the floorboards, too. No, we don't, I don't want to buy the house. I don't want a house. I'm a renter. I just want the, the hardwood flooring. Cause I can you're, you're being recorded. I hope you know that. My phone has a recording app. Oh, what's it called? It's called Bold Beast. Bold Beast? Bold Beast. That's a you're gay, being recorded. That's a gay-ass name for an app. Well, you're a gay-ass man thinking you can come have the floorboards and the copper. You wrote on the ad, literally everything in the entire house being sold. Do you not know what literally means? I don't think you understand. I'm getting the wiring. I want the wiring in the house. All the copper you're, wiring you're is mine. You're making a threat? No. You're making a threat with my cop neighbor right here. How, how is yeah, that a you're threat? you're making a threat. You're That's telling me you're coming with a hacksaw and taking the wiring. And so no, it, idiot! You don't use a hacksaw yeah, to cut gonna, wiring. we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to talk to the cops here. Okay. You have All a right. great day, psycho. Okay. H have the cops oh, teach you English. All right. <laughs> the cops are gonna look at the ad. They're gonna be like, "Well, you know what you said." And how's that a threat? I'm just. 
That is in no way a threat. I'm gonna come and buy things from you. Don't threaten me. All right, retail store clo closing. That's listed under garage sales. So they don't have garage sale stuff. They have retail store shelving. They have those hooks that go on the pegboard shelving. They have um, more hooks. So many pictures of hooks. Just hooks for retail shelving. There's a shop vac. There's a, um, a water machine. You know, like for the employee lounge, there's a large gray trash can. There's a, uh, a scale to weigh things. There's plexiglass, bakery cases, copiers, printers. It's not a garage sale. Well, I guess, I don't know. I guess it's okay. I Regret Jumping wants me to ask to buy the security tapes. El Elky says that lady literally needs English lessons. Hey, Gladys. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Um, does your place there have security cameras? We do, yes. Okay. I want to buy the all of the tapes. Like, uh, does it use... The ones in the box? Yeah. Does it use tapes or does it use... Is it like digital storage? I think it's tape, but let me, let me ask. Hold like on. VHS me tapes or beta? Give me one second. Let me ask my boss because he knows a little bit more about it. Okay. Oh, yes, this song. This is my favorite. I want to buy this on hold system. How much is it? Hi, is this Adam? Hey, Adam. Um, I just How have are a... you doing? Pretty good. I have a question about your security system. Yes. Uh, does it run on VHS tapes? No, it's digital. Ah, okay. Well, I need to buy the whole uh, digital hard drive. Is it backed up off-site or, or anything? Um, mm, no, it's here on-site. Oh, thank God. Okay. Um, how much is that going to be? Um, I think it was 300 Okay. Um, are the images, like, in the camera? Do I have to buy the cameras, too? Because I can't have those. Are they what? I can't have the images getting out. Are the images like inside the cameras too? Do they save? Not that I know. Of. Okay. Yeah, because um, these are they, these were all hardwired. Yeah. How how far back do they go? Uh, the images. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You don't keep backups. I don't have a backup of this one. No. Okay. So if I just take the machine, then all the recordings will be mine. Why? Why would you want that? Uh, because it's just three hundred. It sounds like a good bargain. Why do you want the images? Um, you know, just none of your business. I just, I, I really need them. I have to get them before. Uh, I just, I. It's very important that I have them ASAP. I have cash. Then it's, then it's not for sale. Why is it not for sale? Because if you want the images, then I don't know what you're doing with them. So well, it's, it's none of your goddamn if, if you business. Don't get no, I, I just, it's, I said it's none of your goddamn business what I'm doing with them. I just, like, it's 300 bucks. Cool. I just, nope, I, not I, for sale. I really, Have a good day. I really need, and I need some shelf hooks, too. Yep, I'm not selling the security. I'll are go you, ahead and keep it. Are you selling the shelf hooks? Yeah. Okay, what are you going to do with the security footage if you don't sell it? <laughs> I'll take it home with me. What do you, like, in my garage. Okay, well, can you erase all the footage? <clears throat> I'll give no. you, I'll give you two hundred dollars if you'll let me come over there and run a run a program on your system that'll um, wipe out all the footage and make it unrecoverable. Nope. Why? How far back does it yep. go? How far back does it My. go? Yep. How far back? Um, how far back does it go? Well, it depends on which one you're talking about. I have multiple systems, so. Oh, how many are there? Are they three hundred each? I. I haven't decided on the other one yet. Are that one doesn't have a DVR on it. Oh, thank God. Okay, thank, thank God, thank, thank, thank the baby Jesus. Um, so three hundred dollars. I'm not gonna sell it. So yeah, I guess well, we're end of. I guess we're done talking at well, this point. Well, unless well, you want to what if it's someone else that comes in and buys it? What if it's a female? Nope. Sounds like maybe there's there's some other things that are going on in your world that I don't want to be part of. Oh so. no, no, it's cash. Yep. I'm giving you cash money. Like, and and I'll I'll be gone. You'll never see me again. I just, nope. I need that footage. Nope. I, I'll, what, what can, so. okay, $500. $500 nope. for the footage. 
Nope, not interested. Seven hundred. Okay, a nope. thousand, a thousand dollars just for the hard drive. Let's just open it up and I'll take the hard drive out. Nope. Sounds like maybe there was something that was uh, illegal that you're trying to avoid. No, so. why, well, I don't know why you would think that. All right. Yeah, um, where where does where is expensive this? as of now? So where, yeah, where, I'll go ahead and pull it and I'll keep it. No, so. no. Where where do you, where do you keep it? Like physically? Is it in an office or something? I'm, yeah, I'm not going to share that with you. Because I, I have a I have a battery powered bulk eraser. Cool. I'm going to just yep. l- like just let me come in and run my bulk so eraser. Mine's in, so mine's in storage, so it's all good. What's in storage? My security camera. What's that have to do with anything? Is that a backup? You said there were no backups before. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess now, guess now there's some decisions to be made on your part, aren't there? You, you, so, well, yeah, it sounds I'm, like I'm not gonna. It I'm, sounds like we're not gonna make a deal today. I'm, so I'm done. Try, I'm trying to Thank work you. with you. Like, like is it I know. A thousand dollars. Two thousand. Two thousand dollars. Have a good day. Two thousand. Come on. <laughs> he is gonna be just combing through the footage now, looking for whatever it is that I did on his security tapes. You know, I'm going to go over to his building with a big homemade magnet thing in the back of a truck hooked to a bunch of batteries. I'm going to flip a switch. It's going to yank everything off the wall and completely ruin his security system. Take that, asshole. How do you like that? That'll teach him. I just thought of that idea myself. Just made it up. All right. 1997 Ford Aspire runs perfect. Selling a perfect running Aspire. Great on gas, stereo, straight body, complete interior, cold air. Great daily driver. Don't miss it if you need a reliable car. $800. And it's got a paint job where it looks like they just took a bucket of paint and painted it. Like it's a very flat, black looking thing. But anyway, that's listed under a yard sale. So, um... I don't know. I need to yell at him about that, I guess. Ah, shit. It's almost 1230. It's about time for me to quit. I didn't even get through the first batch. Big says I want to buy the air out of the tires for my balloon animals. All the tires look like they're all spares. Like it's got like four donuts on them. Hello? Hey, I'm calling about your yard cell. Um, yards. Yeah, your yard, yard sale. Yeah, your yard sale. You're having a yard sale today. It says you're having it on uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. It says here on Craigslist. Well, well. So well, what, what I'm doing is you have furniture in a car. Oh no, it says yard sale on here. It's on. It's under the garage and moving well, sales. Right, but uh, I have a car for sale. I just put oh, it in, cool. in that category. You have a garage. You have a car at, at your yard sale. That's cool. I'm probably not yeah, interested in the every- car. Do you have clo- I've sold everything else. Do you have baby clothes? No, I've sold everything else. It's gone. One, you know what? Oh, that's impossible. One dude came and one dude came and bought it all cuz he has a thrift store. What about the uh the car? Is the car still there? The car is still there. That's the only item I have left. How much would you charge for me to get the air out of the tires? To get the air out of the tires? Yeah, like per tire. Are those real tires? Why would you- what? Why would you need to do that? For my balloon animals? Well, why don't you just use the air that's in your lungs? No, I'm not a fucking hobo. I'm not going to, like, like yeah, you, you may, maybe you like to put your mouth on things and blow. But not me. I just want to know how much it would cost for the air out of each tire. Uh, it, would, it would cost probably $1,000 per tire. That's expensive. Yeah, so other than that, use the air out of your lungs. That's stupid. Or have your mother fart in it. My mother's dead. And use that air. She's dead. Weirdo. That, that, you don't got nothing else to do? No, I just want to know about your garage sale that you're having today and tomorrow and Tuesday. Are you a white man? Yeah, What's what's? how'd you know? Because I can hear your voice. This is what I want you to do. Okay. Read Obadiah in the King James Version and Ooh. learn your faith. Ugh. I don't, I don't want to read that. Read Obadiah that. in the King James Version and learn your faith. But I'm going to... I, I die of boredom. And then don't call this number again. That sounds so sounds boring. 
Hey, this, you don't want to read that because you work for the devil, huh? Yeah. Hey, that car. Let um, me guess. Listen. Hey. Let me guess. Hey. You're you're stupid. you're Jewish, huh? How do you know? Yeah, you're Jewish. I know you are. I can did, tell in your voice. Did you paint this car with a paintbrush? Because the black, it looks like like just this really flat looking color. Like yeah, the, it's matte black. It's matte black. It's stu- that's what that is. It's stupid looking. Couldn't you afford like a real paint it's matte job? Black. But you you you, you called on it though. But you called on it. But no, so I, I, I'm calling about something. the yard sale. You're like Jewish you, dude. you're having a yard sale today. And I don't. Yeah, let me tell I you don't, something about I don't, y'all Jewish dudes. I think you're not letting me come to your yard sale because I'm white and Jewish. Listen, listen. Like when the deaf angels come, he's gonna cut your head off. You better repent and get to the real laws of the Hebrews, man. Well, if they That's cut, what you better if do. they cut my head off, that's I, the I only way you're gonna save yourself. But it's really no salvation for you. That's why I told you to read Obadiah. It'll tell you what what's gonna happen to you and what's gonna happen to your seed. It's gonna be removed from the earth. Yeah, but the, Bi- the Bible's boring. I tried reading Re- it once. I was yeah, yeah, so yeah, bored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 like, I, I know it's boring to you because you're a gay Jewish dude. So read Obadiah. How'd you, you know, how'd you know I was <laughs> gay? How'd you know I was gay? <laughs> well, that, that just went all over the place. <laughs> the fuck? Guy doesn't know how to list something on Craigslist. You know, there's an automotive section, you fucking idiot. He takes it out on me. Jeez. All right. Next. The next call coming from your favorite white Jewish gay person is a garage sale. Starts at 6 a.m. Furniture, women's clothes, kitchenware, jewelry, men's clothes, big bedroom furniture, picks provided. Got lawnmowers and tables of stuff. I haven't told anyone yet that I'm coming to sell things. So they start at 6 in the morning. They might be packing it up by now. Yeah, do they have a Bible? I need to read Jebediah or whatever he said. Because apparently something's going to chop my head off. Oh, hello. I'm calling about your yard sale. Yeah. How much later are you going to have that? Um, well, right now we were going to, because it's getting a little bit warm, so we're moving stuff in, but it's, um, it's going to be in our, shut up, it's going to be in our, because we have like a closed off front yard, so we're going to still mm-hmm. have it like out there, but uh, it's just the sun was out on everything and everything's getting hot, but are you yeah. here in Fresno? Yeah, yeah, I'm here what, what in town. Uh, in? Well, I'm, I'm just, I'm coming over with uh, three tables in my pickup truck. I'm, I'm, I'm going to sell things at your yard sale. I'm just going to set up a few mm-hmm. tables. So I'll be there in like 10 minutes. I just want to make sure. I'm just going to set up, you know, like next to your tables. I'm going to sell my own things too. Oh, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that, bro. Oh, no, you don't don't have to do anything. I'll I'll do all the work. No, but no, you're not going to set up in our front yard to sell something. No, I am. I've already made plans. I've got nice tables and nice. Yeah, you're tripping, bro. Have a good day. What do you mean I'm tripping? What? what, Why would you say that? (laughs) I'm coming to preach. Yeah, we haven't done those in a while. Wow, this this yard sale uses green screens as their tablecloths. I could, like, bring my camera and point it there and just make it look like all their shit's floating in the air. It'd be awesome. I want to I wanna do that. <laughs> this guy's got a couch, patio tables, king-size bed and frame. Oh, man, those people that said they were calling the police on me, those people are going to call back that first lady from, you know, the, whose number I'm using today. The final boss. So at least they'll get one call back. And maybe the guy from the security camera footage, too. Maybe he'll call her back. All right, Dr. Astronaut wants me to tell people they suck. That's all I'm going to say to this next person. I'm just going to say, you suck. Then you can all yell at Dr. Astronaut for ruining this call. Here it goes. It's happening. Hello? Hi, I'm calling about your garage sale. Yeah. Like the pictures makes it looks like it it's more out in the driveway. Is it more of a driveway sale? Um, yeah, I just I mean, yeah, I just have it out there. Garage isn't that big. Okay. I'm coming up right now, um I, I'm I'm a I'm I'm Kinkles the Clown and I'm gonna be doing like uh balloon animals for the kids. Can I set up inside the garage? Because it's kinda hot out today. Oh, you know what? I've already closed. I just have the stuff. I mean, ah, shoot. So I get, not that many people. I just got to sit out in the driveway then in my clown outfit. All 
I am, yeah. What are you doing? What's all that? Oh, I didn't get to tell her she sucked. I should be called Kegels the Clown. Kegels the Clown, not ke not Kinkle. That that's just silly. Kegels. Hey, yeah, uh, you yeah, we don't need a clown. Now, listen, you yeah. you suck. Sorry, listen, hey, you suck. You suck. That's what you do. You suck. There we go, Dr. Astronaut. I did it. I did it. All right, here's the next thing posted in the garage sale section. Chainsaw. Only had for a few months. Negotiable price. Easy startup. Sharp chain. Will sell fast. Call or text. Chainsaw. There's two pictures of the chainsaw. This yard sale is going to be held today, Monday, Tuesday, and the start time each day is 8 in the morning. 0800, it says. Oh, I regret jumping. He wants me to juggle chainsaws. Because I'm Kegel the Clown. <laughs> An electric? Hey, I'm calling about your yard sale that you're having today and tomorrow and Tuesday. How can I help you? Um, like what all items are available still? Do you have furniture? Well, here's the thing. I misclassified the, uh, the ad. Uh, basically the only thing I'm selling is a, uh, Poulon chainsaw. Oh, well, I'm glad you explained that to me nicely instead of calling me a white Jewish gay person. Why would I do that? I don't know. I'm just some people, um, I'm going to bring two chainsaws over though. Uh, I, I like by perfect. Well, well, here, here's the thing. Uh, let me clarify. I misclassified the ad. It was supposed to be under tools. Oh no, I get it. And instead, it yeah, there is no garage sale. I don't have anything, you know, there. But Do you have for, uh, for, like I said, I I understand. And uh, mm -hmm. like I said, but the thing is, uh, unless if you've got already got two chainsaws, obviously you don't want to buy one. Oh no, I juggle chainsaws. It's like for an act I do by profession. I'm a clown. I'm Kegels the clown. Ah. <laughs> So I'm going to come over and I'm going to test it out by juggling my two chainsaws and your chainsaw together, like while they're started up and okay, running. Okay, well, here, here's the thing. I've already got a commitment on that chainsaw. Well, so I, it, it'll be sold uh, within a few hours, but uh, I do appreciate your calling. Can I just come over and just juggle it but won't buy it? I'll give you 10 bucks if you just let me juggle it. Like, <laughs> it, it run, well, does it run? Uh, absolutely. I, I, like I said, I wouldn't have gotten a commitment on it if it didn't, but it, it's already being sold. I'll bring gasoline uh, in, in for it. I'll fill it up with gasoline when I leave. Not a problem. I just want to juggle. You call. Do you have furniture in your house that you're willing to sell? That guy was so nice. <laughs> he calmly and rationally explained the problem to me. He misclassified it. It was an honest mistake. He didn't lie to me. He didn't say, oh, some thrift store guy came over and bought everything that I had except for the car. That was very nice of him. I like that guy. But you know me, I like guys. I'm gay and Jewish and white. Oh, here's another guy selling his car as a yard sale. Oh, there's no phone number though. So I've called every number that I found. I'm looking for more. You know, just a couple more. I'm not going to stay on too much longer. Officially, I'm supposed to be quitting now, but I think it was 1235 when I actually started. So I've got three minutes left. Oh, here we go. Collector's art and custom furniture. Um, and that's all it is. It's, I don't know, I guess it's technically a yard sale. Yeah, they have books and tables and stuff. They just have lots of art. Really cool art, actually. <laughs> look at all this art. Instead of doing pranks, I'm just going to look at this art. Sorry, everyone. Show's over. I'm looking at art. Oh, this yard sale isn't even today. It was yesterday. Fuck. I'm already calling it, though. Hi, this is Tina. Oh, hey, I'm calling about your yard sale. Uh, which one? The, the, you know, with all the art. Oh, the one in, uh, in Santa Cruz? Yeah, how many yard sales do you have? Uh, we have two that weekend. Oh, two that weekend. Wow, so it's not a, just someone doing a yard sale at their house? You're like a business? I'm sorry? This is like a business or something? You're not just someone having a yard sale? Yeah, this is, it's an estate sales company. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know. S speak slower and, and 
like talking to your phone so I can hear what you're saying. I'm so. I'm not bad reception right now. Can I call you back when I this evening when I get some better reception? Uh, no, no, you may not. Oh, well, um, what was your question? Um, well, I'm calling from Craigslist, and we're uh, cracking down on people that say they're having yard sales, but they're not actually yard sales. It's some sort of a business venture, some sort of a multi-level marketing scam. And you can't be doing multi-level marketing scams on our service, ma'am. That's not allowed. This is a, a, uh, the person's going to be there, though, the, the, uh, the client. We just, he just didn't know how to do it, so I just helped him do it. It just sounds like a pyramid scheme. It sounds like, like you're trying to swindle people. You're a swindler. You're a swindler and a thief. Uh, yeah, I don't think you're calling from Curses. Curses, I don't think that we'll be talking like you are. Oh, we can talk like that to, to swindlers okay. and thieves, motherfucker. You. Go fuck yourself. Oh, no, I won't. Please. I refuse. <laughs> I, I will not. Can't make me. Okay, yeah, let me go to the next one. That's uh, Sunday. I, really, I, I need to start getting up at 5 in the morning or something to do these yard sale shows. So I can do some on the East Coast. These close down too quickly. They're all closing up for the day. It's bullshit. Here we go. The state sale. Oh, it's the same one with all those blacksmithing tools. Did I, I did I end up in the same area again? Because the other one wasn't one that I'd called before. And this one's not. I remember this one with the Little Mermaid doll. No phone numbers on these, though. I think the show's over. I'm still looking, though. We ended on a good one. I like the, uh, the chainsaw thing. That guy was cool. <laughs> Moving out sale. Hello. Hey, I'm calling about your moving out sale. Yep. Um, I just needed to let you know about something. Uh -huh. Is it is there is your sale still going on? Yeah. Okay, good. Do you still have the blue couch? Uh -huh. Do you still have the three four floor lamps? Yeah. Do you have the black color floor lamps? Do you have the black color floor lamps? Yeah, yeah. Do you have the coffee table? Do you need all of them? I'm just checking. I mean, do you have the coffee yeah, table? Yeah. Everything is, everything is there. Everything. For you haven't sold anything. What? Yeah, and nothing is sold yet. Uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna bring some more stuff for you. I'm gonna bring. I'm over, I'm on my way with the truck. Okay. I'm going to drop off a refrigerator that it works Why? Cause, so you can sell it. You don't have to give me money for I don't, it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. Sorry. Sir, the refrigerator works. <laughs> Fuck! He picked up and I realized I don't have an idea. Oops. All right, here's a big sale. Quick, everyone, I need an idea. I'm going to say I left my weed pipe. Oh, look, they're selling those fans that... You can stick your finger in and it'll chop your hand off. Hello. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Hello. Heidi, is that you? Yes. Okay, great. I, it is. I was at your yard sale earlier. Uh-huh. And I, I left something behind. Did you find anything that I left behind? Uh, I don't, not that I'm aware of. Did anybody leave anything here today? I did. I don't know. What did you leave, sir? It was a it was a small weed pipe. It was blue. A, a small blue, like a like a glass bowl. Yeah, like a, a weed pipe, not a bong, just, just a little blue weed, weed pipe. pipe. And it's it a had weed pipe somewhere. And it had blue weed pipe. It had marijuana in it, and okay. it was still smoking when I set it down. Oh, he set it down, still smoking. Were you outside? Yeah, I was out in front in the driveway. I was smoking while I was looking at your stuff. And I, I okay, hang I on. Someone's going to go take a look for it. Okay. Hang on one sec. All right. Thanks. Bye, Marianne. Burr. Do you remember if you set it down on, like, on the brick or on the planter or I think any it was, ideas? I Where? think it was just on a table. Do you think someone could have bought it? It was out in the driveway because I barely even came in the garage. Well, nobody bought it. 
But if somebody saw, uh, if anybody saw a pipe with weed in it, you know what they did. They walked off with it. We, we have plenty at home and we vape. I'm sorry. I have your number on my phone. If it shows up, I'll definitely call you, okay? Okay. Also, I left one other thing. What's that? My, I'm the one that was there with my son. And I think my son may have okay. ran off into your house or maybe out back or something. Do you see him around there someplace? Uh, we, we are not at a house. We're at a warehouse. You know what I mean? Like, just around. Like, is... is did you... Is there, a child? Yeah, a child. Is my son wandering around? He's like four. Four, maybe three, maybe five. No, I'm not you sure. you lost your four-year-old? Just... What is wrong with you? Just to... Well, I was high. You can't... Okay, I get that, but you with a child? No, there are no children here. And if there is a child here, I'm going to call CPS. No, you can't do that. Don't call CPS. Don't be an asshole. Like, can you just look around real quick and just see? I'm not. Like, are you, you, he likes to hide. There is not a three or four year old child here, sir. Well, he there likes is not a child here. He likes to go into places and hide. Like, are there any cabinets or closets or like a little bathtub or? No. Something. But, sure, there's not a child here. Bushes. No, he's a good hider. Like, you, he'll be there and you won't even know it. Why don't you come back here if you've lost your son and find him? I think that's what I would recommend you do. Okay. Well, I'm not positive he's there. I just, I know his mom picks him up in three hours okay. and I really need to find him. Yeah, you certainly do need to find him. And no more getting high when you got your kid because your wife's not going to let you see him anymore, dude. No, it's fine. He was driving. I... Okay, goodbye. <laughs> you ruined it, Buxby. You ruined it. He told me to say that the kid was driving. I said the kid's driving. Look what happened. Way to go. I was so annoyed that she wasn't getting pissed about the weed pipe. Like, what kind of world do we live in where people don't freak out when you mention a weed pipe? But at least she... She took the bait with, <laughs> with the sun thing. Thanks, Mr. Biggs. Mr. Biggs says this is a good show, everyone. I'm glad he thinks so. Whoa, my phone just made a noise it's never made before. Hold on. The f what, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, it's eBay. eBay's making noises at me. What? What? Oh, hey, look. My PlayStation sold. For $59, everyone. I sold my PlayStation for $59. It sold. I can finally get rid of my PlayStation 3. This is great news. Did you guys hear that? Like, <laughs> Sean just said cha-ching. That's pretty much what it sound. Oh, wait, it's doing it again. Why does it keep doing it? I only sold one thing. It keeps making the noise. That's annoying. I'm turning that off. I hate noises on my phone. All right, so I think I'm going to have to end the show. I have to go uh, box up my PlayStation 3, write the address on it, get it all ready to ship out in the morning. Thanks, everybody, for listening. I had a good time. Thanks for all the ideas. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll see you all next time. It was fun. I had a good, good time. Good times. I stand here waiting for you to find us Wait, wait, wait. We didn't call the, the final boss. We forgot to call the final boss. We gotta call the final boss. What am I doing? All right, calling the final boss. He's probably not gonna pick up. Hello. Hello. Hi. I, I'm in your pool right now. I'm in. I'm like. I've got a scuba suit on. I'm under the water, and I'm calling you from my Bluetooth. Okay, can you take that, darling? I'm having a hard time hearing you. It's because I'm underwater. The water's blocking the signal. I'm calling you from my cell phone. I'm inside a scuba suit in your in your swimming pool. Oh, really? Yeah. Part of me. That's amazing. How did you do that? Do, do you want to come oh, you're invisible, sir. Do you want to come swim with me? I don't know, sir. I don't think I would be doing that today. My, my scuba suit has uh, cloaking abilities. It has cloaking capabilities? That's so right. No, it's a Star Trek thing, stupid. Oh, I thought you were Harry Potter there for a moment. Uh, I, I, need, I, need, I need to let you know that Mr. Biggs hates you and Dr. Astronaut says you suck. 
and Buck Sleepy says he's going to kick your British ass. And he says, USA, USA, Trump, Trump. Trump. Oh, the queen. Oh, fuck the queen. Fuck her up her stupid ass. I'm talking about the drag queens, darling. Oh, yeah, no, they're... they're, Drag queens are cool. Yeah, they're fine. Oh, I do agree. All right, well, hey... I'm a drag queen, my darling. I've got to get going. The show's over. I just wanted to give you a call and say, Hello, I'm in your pool. It's good times down here. Okay, we're tootaloo, darling. All right, bye, honey, baby. You have yourself an amazing day and find a great big black delicious corn, my darling. Oh, I will. All right, I love you. Oh, my God, have a great day. Yeah, yep, yep, you already said that. Bye. If you're a tenant, what would you be doing on the roof, sir?